Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we have a, an assassination attempt on Bismarck. During his travels in Bavaria, Chancellor Otto von Bismarck was subjected to an assassination attempt today. The assailant, who has been arrested already, fired at his carriage from a few yards distance, though only hitting his right arm. We do not know the motives for the attack yet. Von Bismarck has been rushed to the hospital and is now being treated overnight. Let's pray he recovers. Um, when he goes to building, he dies anyways? No. Do all that is necessary to make sure he survives. Wouldn't it be a shame if his doctor had a little slip-up? Why do... Why, are we... Why do, they, why do we have two options for him to die? And we lose a lot of stability. Or at least some. At least this one loses quite a bit. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, no, but currently we're doing the old Brandenburg colonies. We should try to revive the old colonies. Um, other than that, it's 1874. Obviously, we need to really just move on to the next focus tree, but... Uh, we're gonna do this one, obviously. I wanna do German-African company in Kabul. That was the purchase of Caraco, Caracao. So I think that'll be good. We have pretty much everything else done in this tree here. Except for, obviously, this French stuff now, but... We mess with the French a whole lot. You know, go figure. And I'll have a new Germany here, too. Abyssinia was puppeted. Oh, boy. Bye-bye, Abyssinia. Um, this one's not too long. Oh, wait. Well, maybe it is kind of long. I can read it, since we got some time to, go, uh, to spare right now. The past decades have been a struggle for Prussia, both within Germany and outside. Now we've established our identity across the states and have unmatched dominance of both military and political might. It makes no sense that people who speak the same language, have the same culture, and fight for the same reason to be split under a minuscule state, or serve under a disunited entity as, his as history has taught us. A new concept is on the horizon, Pr and Prussia is prepared to take it. So, we'll get there eventually. So, I'll like to do this one, but... German-African company in Kabul? Private investors have shown interest in purchasing Koba. Those who established a German-African colony within the Kabul area. Koba? That's down here. Oh, that's not very big now, is it? Um, I'm kind of okay with that one, if that's really what we get. Kuba. Or is it down here? It's probably not that one, because that's not even on the coast. Uh, we've got a couple of comments to go through as well, so... We'll get to the focus. Right now, we're building up a crud ton of industry. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six things of civilian factories all at the same time. We're going to make sure that we have an extremely huge industrial base by the time World War I revolves around, which I don't know if we'll actually get all the way up to World War I, to be honest with you guys. Seeing as someone did say the content ends around in 1850 or 1890. Not 1850, 1890. So, um, right now we're doing some more techs. I would like to throw support companies on, more support companies. We'll see what happens. Um, with aviation, I think, well, we still have some stuff we could do, but that's for next year. Ooh, experience daily gain. That's not bad. That's actually probably pretty good to get, actually. Uh, the yeah, Aslova ahead of time. Actually, max factories in the state. Not bad. Construction speed's not... I like construction speed. Communist Manifesto published. The more ahead it is, the more penalty. Uh, I'm not saying anything for population here, which is fine. I like the construction speed, though. Uh, special projects. We can't do this until it is five years later. Electronics and electronic instruments. Pretty much the exact same thing, so... We do have legislative power game, which I do kind of like, but... Biochemistry, obviously, is pretty good. So with this one, microbiology, nice. Industrial fertilizers, some sort of synthesis stuff. So all the stuff we can't take just yet. We're getting close. We're getting very close. We'll do air doctrine, because we can't. Even though there was a comment saying that we should focus more on our infantry tech, especially before the next great war starts, that'd probably be a good idea. And we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Telegraph signal company. Obviously, I'm doing that stuff, too. Let's see. It is 74. There's really not much here we can do for guns. Gewehr... Uh, Ein und Siebsisch. Yeah, if I remember German correctly. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time, a little bit ahead of time, a little bit ahead of time. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, my apologies about that. It was something about the Cologne Cathedral. I was just trying to scroll around, but nope, it just had to pop up with an event. My apologies about that, but it was not an extremely important event, I guess. I don't think anything really happened, so. We didn't get any more stability. We didn't get any more... I don't think we got any more political power, but... My apologies about that. That was my, that was my fault. I should have... I don't know. Maybe we should stop touching the center so much. So, hmm. My bad. That is what it is. Cool. Alright, so, under the actions. We can buy more ships, but we... I've just been cranking out ships. We're at 54, so... And we really don't... Yeah, we could do some more naval stuff. Oh, there's so much technology to research. It's kind of crazy. Oh, look at that. Purchase St. Friedrichsburg from Netherlands. Purchase Waida from Togo B Tribe. Waida. Why the heck are you doing that? Where what? Oh, is it right there? Uh, there's no rubber right there. Uh, where is this? Fried... St. Friedrichsburg. Oh, it's down here. Uh... 
detrimental colonial impact. I don't see any rubber down here, so I mean, I guess we could. That would be too bad. We have nothing else really extremely important to spend our political power on, so that's okay. Someone did ask why Austrian Austrian Hungary did turn red here. I'm not really sure. Just because probably the flag? I don't know. Our, our Magyar's red? Our Hungarian's red? I'm not really sure. Hmm. God, has got a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. Oh, look at that. Romanian United Principalities is here. Man, I can't imagine growing facial hair like this. That's just so weird. Especially on the underside of your chin. Oh, my goodness. And we have Serbia, Montenegro, and, oh, uh, well, yeah, Alexander II. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, so someone did recommend we try to get rubber-rich er uh, areas in Africa. So we'll see. What is that? Is this a, do we get a bonus to this, or why is it 75% here? Um, there's nothing we can do. Uh, it's, it's just a little bit ahead of time. Just a little bit. Yeah, okay, let's just go and start doing that stuff. That's fine. We could still be building up roads. Weekly manpower might not be a bad thing to get. Logging camps. Electronics manufacturers. Wow. Machine parts. Uh, what do we have currently? We could use a, a touch more iron and a touch more fabric. Fabric, huh? How do we make fabric? Oh, right here. Textiles. We need more cotton for that. Let's see. We can make one instead of roads for now. There you go. About four. Uh, build one. All right. So we got that one. And purchase a Karako. We should try to purchase Karako from the Dutch. Very good. Yes, we should. So hopefully we get the option to. <coughs> Alright, so. Uh, try to get more military factories. Try to get caught up on infantry tech. Keep going in the campaign. Oh, Kabu declines in negotiations. Decline in colonial company partnership and is declined to sell Kabu to us. Oh. Um, okay, well, that sucks. We spent all the time, and we couldn't get it. Mm. Hopefully in the next part of the tree, we can, we have more options to, uh, you know, do stuff like that. Or, you know, get colonies. Ah, uh, and you guys are still separated. What are they going to take over all the Native American tribes? Hmm. Odd. The American Civil War. Oh, they still have that? Okay, well, whatever. Just keep building, building, building. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost seven-ish. Building on more roads is pretty nice. And we're doing really well with this stuff. Let's see. I'll try out Malaysia Sionam? Sionan sometime? Yeah, maybe eventually. We'll see. Singapore. Singapore, 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 Singapore. Ah, uh, the Raj owns it. That's fine. Cool. So we have only 44 million people, huh? Not good enough. Keep building up roads, 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 roads. Yep, there's really not much here. Um, oh, yeah. We, oh, we have a general over here. Yep. <sighs> Look at that. We have supply issues already over here, which is not good. We need more supply. I wish it was logistic companies, even though, honestly, this army looks like it could probably take out Austria Hungary pretty darn quickly. What, is, what are they doing? I don't focus, though. I got a lot of manpower. A ton of manpower. They don't have a lot of factories, though. Wow. Wow, even Russia looks like they have less. Now, France is looking relatively okay. Obviously, they don't have a ton of manpower, but they have an okay amount. Especially after we whooped them last time. They have up to 24... Jeez, factories? 5 to 9? For, oh, that's Poland. Abyssinia, cool. And then one to 31 to 50 for Russia. As well as... What about the UK? Uh, up to 153. Uh, he also has speech. It's symbolic. Uh, sure, Ottoman Empire will, will come on in. 39 divisions. Constantinople World Fair. Very cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. So I want to keep at least five on civilian workshops at all times, just so we can build ourselves bigger, 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 better, 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 better. All the time. And actually, we're doing relatively okay with this stuff. Recon balloons? Is that is that worth doing? It might be. It doesn't look like it gives you any more recon, though. So, hmm. Imperialism. I love imperialism. Happy 1975, everyone. Ooh. The following block from this... This from being researched. The scramble for Africa must have happened. Your nation must be in a position to be able to colonize. Colonial power. Oh, yeah. Colonial ambitions. The African continent is now open to us. This enables colonization. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, wait. No. Oh, no. I want to do it. 
The scramble for Africa. When did the scramble for Africa happen? I know in HPM for Vicky too. It's like 1880 or 1890s. Oh, just one colonies, man. Gunboat diplomacy might not be bad. Um, signal traffic, infrastructure, construction speed. That's good. Uh, we might as well get the Communist Manifesto. But where is Scramble? Oh crap, where is this? You'd assume it'd be here, wouldn't you? Neoclassics? Um, hmm. Hospitals? What is that? Colonial Settlements? So we need that one to be done. It requires Climate Training. What is, where is Climate Training? Climate training. Well, let's go. Well, we can keep looking for this. So, we did that one. Hopefully they say okay. Because other than that, we need to do Germany. It takes only 70 days. If you'd like to read about this again, please go right ahead. Oh, wait. Yeah, there it goes. Colonial training. Climate training. God dang it. The Dutch. Shut up. Our request to keep or purchase Kar Krakow was refused by the Dutch. It seems they want to keep the island for themselves. Can I, just, can I just kill them all? I mean, I can just literally just go in and stomp on them. Can I just do that? Colonial law? Uh, studying aerodynamics is nice. Cool. But it's 75. So let's go over to biochemistry again. Monthly population and less consumer goods. Sign us up. I love absorption refrigeration. But seriously, where is climate training? Is it under... Oh, that's what it focuses. Let's see. Let's take a look. You can see how laggy the game is. Oh, boy. Early medicine. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we need to get that one done. I'm glad I thought it was over here because this one uh, lowered supply consumption, which is really, really nice. Let's heat and winter attrition. Climate training would be nice. We gotta wait maybe 1876 to get that next one done. Okay, so there's that one. That's not bad. Mm, Alright, so that's good to know. That's good to know that's over there. It is 75, so maybe we should get the 1871 rifle, even though it's 1875. More, more supply consumption. That's not good. We do get more soft attacks. That might be beneficial. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six ish. I just really want to build up those roads so badly. More roads. Actually, we might be able to farm too, because we can. Just because, just because, just, just a single farm. That'd be kind of nice, right? Farms are nice. Oh, hold on. Let's see. No, is there anything else we can do here? Not really yet. Well, I probably want to buy Wida. Wida. Just so we have a base down there, maybe. Do you know Stab? Anything else? Uh, so we have the Marine des Norddeutschen Nord Bundes, so we got that already done. Here's the consumer goods a little bit. Get more max uh, naval range factor, more dockyard output, escort efficiency, dockyard construction speed, so that's not too bad. Forstische Eisenbahnen, yeah, that's not bad. Independent Marine Ministerium gives us more daily naval speed, which is really pretty good. Well, the economy is pretty darn nice, but we're going to lose that in about a year, which really does suck, but whatever. Keep building, 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 building. Just a mammoth amount of industry here. I only get 0.41 a day, which really sucks. Uh, ministers wise, we still don't have the last guy. Which kind of sucks. Theorists? Oh, I think we got a theorist. Von Moke the, would probably have been pretty good. Naval reformer. Yeah, that probably would have been pretty okay to do. What's the next tech done? Oh my goodness. Con Wait, why does communism have a boat? <clears throat> that doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, it's communism, but boating? What the heck? Cool. Not bad. We have two different types of destroyers and 30, 26 of those ships, huh? Oh, good. We're going to build another one up to 10. Good, 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 good. Feels like TNO. I'm just trying to build up as many civvies as possible. These are built really fast. Wow. Oh, it only cost 6,000 to build. That's not bad. Hey, another one done. Nice. And this will be done soon. Maybe we should build more resources things here. They give us raw resources like logging camps. How much wood do we have? What is that? Titanium. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, let's get continue to get one more. And in New Germany. Sweet. Awesome. New focus tree. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, yes. German Colonial Society. Oh. Uh, due to the colonial mechanics still being in the works, large parts of this branch are not finalized yet. Oh, that sucks. We need to be considered a major colonial power, which we got to wait. Germany under Bismarck. Deutsche Wirtschaft, Grundesite, Kaiserliche Marine, Deutsches Heer, 
Industrial Army. Oh, look at that. Replace Prussian and Victorian Army with Industrial Army. This division training time. Supply consumption goes up, which I don't like at all. Reich's Revolver. Revolver. Oh, I like that. Decentralized Army. Uh, I think we gotta go centralized, man. But let's go... What is this one? Silver Standard? Joint Stock Companies? Construction Speed? Infrastructure Construction Speed? Construction Speed, period. Civilian Construction Speed. And Infrastructure. I like that. By metallism. We will steer away from silver coinage, which may have an effect on this international economy. Yeah, I like bimetallism. Uh, let's go, uh, do Deutsch Wirtschaftsfest, though. We need to decide how we'll manage the German economy, which will be a great, great thing to do. All right, everyone, so we're really not that far ahead of time where we just left off, but we have something called War and Crisis. And let's see what it says once the game stops saving. The ongoing war and psych crisis can be diffused simply by releasing a statement that we do not intend to aggressively expand our influence in Europe at the time and by reapproaching the Europe French diplomatically. If we do not want the crisis to escalate into war, we should defuse it at once. I guess that's pretty historical, I suppose. Um, I'm not really sure what that's about, but hey. More max factories in the state? Sign us up. And we keep making more destroyers, and these guys are really, really cheap to make, but... If you guys need a train, just make yourselves better. That's fine with me. Um, gumbo. Oh, that's better gumbo, huh? We still have no armor here. Hardwood armor? Slightly less armor, but more speed? Nah, we're good. Yeah, if we throw anything heavier than this on, it doesn't help us at all. Um, and I, I chose these cannons, just because if you throw the heavy cannons on, you get slower, and I don't want to go any slower, so. I guess gumbo diplomacy, 1868, huh? There you go. Two, three. So we have one... Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Nice. Bicycles, and eh, they don't give you any armor, so. Whatever. Oh god, the graphics are glitching again. Um, defuse a crisis, war in sight. I just want to kind of kill people now. So, War in Sight, one of our most popular newspapers, The Post, has published an article on its front page claiming in giant letters that war is in sight with the French. The French have apparently got one of this and begun their first mobilization efforts, as we see this as a serious sign that a country has been preparing for war against them. Whether this is true or not, we need to decide how to influence this crisis to further our interests. Bismarck has already begun threatening the French, seeing that if they do not demobilize immediately, they will face military intervention from our side. The powers of the UK and the Russian Empire will probably intervene if we go to war. Oh man, that sucks. We lose ability if we don't do this. They guarantee France, Russia. Foundation of the Socialist. Uh, are about the uh, Partei Deutschlands. A German unification made the most striking dispute between the different German labor parties obsolete. But the union had been violently crafted under the aegis of the Prussian monarchy and the military. Thus, the German workers' movement awoke to the danger of being suppressed by conservative authorities. In order to strengthen their political weight, many of its supporters have gathered in Gotha today to establish a united labor party, the Socialist Workers' Party of Germany, or Socialistische Arbeiter Partei Deutschlands. SAP predominantly supporting a reformist socialist agenda. These socialists are becoming more and more dangerous. Oh well. Um, they guarantee those guys we go to... Why do we go to war with them? No. Man, come on. When completed? I suppose we can defuse the crisis for now. I don't think it was a, hist a war between F Germany and France after the Franco-Prussian War until World War One. I. I mean, maybe we had a few issues here and there, but... Just defuse it, I suppose, for now. Less than 80% war support, more than 25% world tension. Uh... That's not good. Um, I'm sure we could beat up the Russians, maybe. Maybe. Let's take a look here. 3 to 28 in a single division. That's insane. Yeah, I don't know about the Russians. More than... How do we... We can't do anything about that. We have a lot of war support, but that's not our fault. So... Hey, I defuse. I defuse it from my side, so... Deutsche Wirtschaft, Industrial Economy. If that's going to happen... We got Deutsches Heer. We need a strong German army for a strong German state. Nice. I want you guys to be ready to go pretty much as fast as possible. Uh, you guys are probably going to get hit quite a bit. Entrenchment is okay. And defense is not bad, actually. So I'm going to maybe throw 20 divisions down here. Because the French want to go to war with us, apparently. Because I, I already defeated the crisis. I defused it, but they said no, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. And these guys are a puppet of the F Russians, so we still have this other army here too, so. And stockpile-wise, I mean, we're looking really good. We got enough equipment for now. 
Uh, I'm just worried about supply issues. I'm really worried about that. 30. Oh, uh, we actually might be relatively okay. Uh, what are our cannons like? Howitzers are... Wow, that's good. That is some good stuff. Because we have enough stuff here. So... We need more machine guns, but we're pretty close to that. Wow, we just dropped strength immediately. Holy cow. I I, I don't want to do this, but let's go buy this, maybe. Let's try that one. There's nothing I can do if I have 82% world support. There's literally nothing I can do. Oh, wait, did that not... Um, yeah, we can try that, too. Okay, so we... Good. I don't want war. Let it be known. Oh, Togo, to, Togo B tribe cruises, so why don't... Uh, Wido is an abandoned Brandenburg colony, but now wants more under our colonial sphere influence. Our external colonial sphere grows. Nice. We actually got something down here, right? Hey, there it is. Nice. Very nice. Can we change this since this is technically a colony? No, that sucks. Uh, I'm really not ready to fight anyone in terms of naval power. So... Oh, they declined. So they declined to St. Oh, St. Friedrichsburg, and they still have interest... They still have interest in keeping their African colonies unfortunate. So, I've done everything I can for this. So, overextension is gone. That's good. That's good. There's nothing I can do to lower my war support, is there? That's weird. One of the few times you actually want to lower your war support, because I don't want to go to war right now. But I will come and kill every single one of our enemies if we have to. Guard divisions, not bad. Because these, hor these cursors, horses... Um, like, they're only 10 combo with, but with these Gatling guns and engineers and regular cannons, I I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, if you want to try to naval invade, go right ahead. That's not going to work. <laughs> How many, uh, I mean, they, they want to go to war. They want to go to war, man. Not me. Hopefully, the these guys don't want to go to war, too, so. If that's the case, I'm going to steamroll these guys as much as possible, then. Hopefully Austria-Hungary does not want to go to war with us. That would be a pretty bad thing that ha did happen, though. Alright, they wanted war. I mean, I don't know what... We, there's nothing we can do about that. There's literally nothing we can do, which is stupid. Ah, let's grab some better rifles. There we go. Could you guys actually win here? Let's go three guys on the line. Maybe we, like... Yep, you guys wanted war, so... We're going in. We're going completely in. We're going to destroy Russia. We're going to destroy the French, hopefully. Uh, we'll see what happens, though. So, let's see if we can... Can you guys go there? Yes, you can. It was unfortunate. Can you guys go there? No. Go there. Go there. Oh, we're going to beat up these guys. All right, just have everyone come on the line. Well, the Franco-Prussian War Part 2, now with two more enemies to fight. Go, 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 go. We're going to burn Paris to the ground again. Oh, we're getting naval invaded. Oh, wow, they landed pretty quick, darn quickly. All right, that's the case. Um, I'm going to tell one of you guys to do the same thing that you're doing already. There you go. And I'm going to have you guys mobilize over here, even though it would make more sense for cavalry to come over here and do this. So, All right, ships, you actually have some stuff to do. Cut you down in half. Thank you. can't believe these guys wanted war. Like, seriously, guys? Seriously? Hopefully we can beat the Russians. That's just my worry that they have so much, so 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 much you know population and stuff. Come on, come on, help them out, help them out. I know they got forts down there, but I did everything. Okay, we're gonna really kill off the French here. Holy crap, they are just—they are not ready for war. We already killed forty-eight thousand of them. Oh, we'll get those guys too. That'd be nice. Um, you know what? Screw it. Just do it like this. Hopefully there's a peace deal here where we can just kind of like say, Hey, we can't invade the UK, but we took out France and Russia, so... We're mobilizing reserves, opposition returns, so be it. So... Hey, look, I want a peace. Let it be known. I want a peace. Uh, you guys go right there. You cut that division off. That'd be nice. Uh, or you go, you guys go here. Yeah, kill these stupid French people off. They wanted war, so I am just defending myself. How many more French? Ninety thousand. Jesus Christ! Now the Russians going to be difficult to take out. 
But we've already killed 26,000 of them, which is not bad, not bad. Anyone, anyone have upgrades? Algeria, watch out, the French Algerians are coming in. No, and Friedrich, you're doing okay. We're doing relatively okay against the Russians, and once we get the Poles done, I think Russia's just going to be completely open, so that'd be pretty nice. There you go. Yeah, I should have made our guys a little bit bigger, and we're out of machine guns, but that's all right. We're doing, we're, we're just being the crap out of everyone here. I love it. Don't mess with Germany. A change of guard? Oh, that sucks. Got Mittoons. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. But we didn't lose anybody yet. Yeah, horses? I have like 42 horse divisions. Oh, they're a little thicker than normal, but they're doing great. They're just doing great. And we won. Good. Now, actually, I'm going to keep you guys as a reserve guard, just in case, because you never know if the Austro Hungarians are going to do anything. And we might get naval invaded again. But then again, once we defeat pr France again, uh, well, watch out. Uh, we can use these guys to help, like, station areas here, too, so. I mean, yeah, this, I would hate to fight on this front, too, but still. Like, this is going to cost a lot more manpower. Uh, we might, Jesus, that's so many dead French. That's a lot of dead Russians, too, 100,000, but then again, Russia's got, like, millions of manpower, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, yeah, they got millions of manpower, so. Coquelin. How far are we going to have to go to win this war? There should be a scripted peace deal, right? All the other ones had scripted peace deals, so... Come on, smack them down. Oh, these guys are probably... Oh, there goes Poland. Nice, goodbye, Poland. Uh, and we're back here again. Seriously, can we get, like, Nazi-ish or something? Uh, let's see. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. You're all aggressive, I love it. Yeah, horses. Fun times, man, fun times. Deepa? Oh, we already have Paris, do we? Yeah, we do have Paris again. Now, we're not winning over here as much as I'd like to, but then again, when when do we have... When do we always win, like, crazily? I guess we are winning, technically, so... If you guys could go right there, that'd be really great. You can encircle those guys and kill them off if you're fast enough. Come on, come on, get rid of them before they get in there. Oh, probably not going to be able to do that. Come on! Oh, we couldn't do that. Well, I'm glad we got Duchess here. Centralized army or decentralized? I'm probably going to go with centralized because that seems more, more sense. We need a strong centralized army. Decentralized, we should decentralize the army in order to prevent unrest in southern Germany and keep lo local traditions. Um, more max planning. I like the general German staff. That's pretty good. Winners of the Franco Prussian War for more political power. Decisions regarding our various fortresses in our country. Saxon contingent, Bavarian contingent, Wolfenbuchel contingent, or enforced Prussian uniforms. Pickelhaven uh, Flisch. I love pickle hobbles. I want to get a pickle hobble so badly, man. Nice. Honestly, it seems like the decentralization seems a little bit better. Just because you get 5% more recruitable population factor, but you do get more max planning stability. German general staff. Which I do kind of like, but... Reichsmanover? But you get that on the other side, too. You get a lot of bonuses to land auction, which isn't bad. Actually, we should probably look at our land auction again. This one seems just a little bit better. At least for, yeah, planning. It's only 10%, though. Expander barracks. Mauses. Cavalry. Handguns. You lose land doctrine research speed, though. I don't like that. Let's go with this one. Centralized army. I think it's just better if we have a strong centralized army. So. Are we supposed to be losing? I think we were supposed to be... Oh! <laughs> we just straight up annex them. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We could satellite. Um... Hmm. Direct rule from us, or do we take French colonies? You know, I'm just, just take all. You know why? Just because. Oh well, well we'll take all of France, of course. Uh, I don't want to satellite these guys. I just rather just have a, us uh, underneath us, but whatever. Well, there goes France. I guess World War, part of World War One's been canceled. So, um, where are new colonies? Do we, are we in a faction? No, we're not. That sucks. Pied Noir Republic. Is that? Nice. Scourge of Malaria. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, they have a unique focus tree. Wow. Oh, maybe. Um, well, I don't think this is supposed to be very historical. Senegal? Where, where is Senegal? Oh, you're over here. Scourge of Malaria, huh? The model colony of France? Well, model colony of Germany. More like it now. Gabon? Hey, he's smoking a cigarette. Or oh, no. He's sucking in a lollipop, right? He's a friend of capitalism. We love him. Oh, it's Gabon right there. 
Oh, wait. Oh, do we have two Gabons? Oh, I just wanted to direct roll from Germany, but whatever. Okay. Well, that's over with. Uh, at this point, then, I'm still going to keep you guys maybe as a reserve army. You guys can do this, because I want the horses to go to Russia. So, just so that we can just, like, have a good old time with them. Maybe we can still invade the UK. I don't know. That would still actually be really cool. But we'll figure that out once Russia is defeated. This feels very, very ahistorical, though. Um. Yeah, there you go. Good luck with that. I'm throwing you guys on the line. Oh, but then again, supply is so bad around here. But we're, we're doing okay anyway, so. Well, War of the Rivals gone. Um. Do I need any technology to help naval invade? That's the main question I have right now. Corvette hulls. Or ironclads, line ship hulls, subs. High explosive rounds are not bad. Gunboat stuff. Uh, armaments, of course. Propulsion, which is not bad. Wow. That's going to take a long time to get over there. Minesweeper stuff, which I've done a little bit, but I don't ever use mines. Fire control, damage control, transport ships. Ooh. So we can invade. Naval invasion capacity is plus one, plus three. So we get four to invade. That really sucks. Um, okay, so there's not really much we can do here with this stuff then. Good to know. Yeah, I don't think this is supposed to be very difficult. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love beating up the French. And if I can do it more, I will. So I guess... The UK just has a, such a big navy, though. I don't like it. They don't have that much manpower, though. Um, yeah, that's a pretty big navy. So I really don't want to send my ships over. I'll be honest, I really don't. Uh, I'll send you guys here. I'll send you guys half to Paris. Yeah, I don't think this is historical. This is this. I mean, technically, I'm not gonna play until World War One, just because I don't think there's enough content for that. So, uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Boost army morale. I mean, we're doing well already. So for two weeks, you get that's not too bad. That's not great. Promote German war austerity. That's all right. Infrastructure development. One of the wealthiest aristocrats in the country has funded a project to expand the local infrastructure in one of our states. Since the country is in a phase of rapid industrialization, we were able to realize his plans with a bit of additional funding. Quickly. What? Quickly. Superb. Oh, oh, we have another horse division. Nice. Good job, guys. And what do we have over here? Oh, we still need more industry. Even though we could use more, honestly, dockyards. Our ships aren't that great. They're really not that great. I suppose I could build up another dockyard. Just help us out. 30%. 40%. Look at that. I like that. You know, go for two then. Go for two. We still have room for a little bit more. I guess maybe another thing in military factories, perhaps? We're still looking pretty good here. We're still building up a lot of roads, so. Yeah. Um, I don't want to have to restart this just because the war should not happen. I guess technically you can use console commands to say, hey, I want to learn my war sports so the war didn't happen, but I like taking out the French. Can we guys just keep moving on, please? Hurry up, hurry up. Go faster so we can get more territory so we can get more land so we can make sure our infrastructure is okay. How many French, how many, well, I guess the French are dead. We've cut off half a million Russians already. Obviously that's not nearly enough, but like, we're doing relatively okay here. Mazgar would help out with the supply. Uh, what are we lacking? A lot of stuff. Cavalry equipment especially. Oh boy. And that's okay, we don't need to build any more for now then. There you go. Guns, we got more than enough guns, so. Um, there you go, we can. Oh, look at that, what is that? Noble officers only? Wow. Leader gain, it goes way down. Vodka Monopoly, of course. Those guys are gone. Oh. Can we see, okay, so this is how many divisions they have. Russian line infantry, we're not really sure what they have for each one. Why is Mexico in the war? What the heck? Okay, so they're out of equipment except for horse lumber and cannons, so... Any damage we do, like, they can't replace, so that's good. I'm a little scared, I'll be honest, to move my ships out a little further. <laughs> I mean, we could try it, but... Engage at low priority, maybe? Oh god, please don't lose any ships. Please, 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 please. They do have divisions at Dover. You could try naval invasion. Alright, not bad. Hey, look, an encirclement. Nice. Good job, guys. 
Are they doing last stand? They might be doing last stand. No, they're not, but just supply sucks so badly down here. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, what's happening? Oh, it's like a little ship, nice. Good job, guys. If you want to build some more roads over here, I know they're just god awful. There you go, build like a road there or something. I'm not sure it's going to really help out too much, so. Go ahead and do this. Since you're going to need more strength here, anyways. So. I want to concentrate you guys up in the north. Just hold for now. Hold, hold, hold. I know supply sucks. Just hold and get to the line. I'm not going to kill off Australia. I swear to God, I'm not going to kill them off. Uh, month of population. There you go. Barb, barb. So you get barbed wire fencing, and that gives you more population. Okay. Electrician sucks. Um, are you guys on the line yet? Give them about five seconds. Five. Actually, no, screw it. You guys go over here. You guys just kill these guys off here. And circle them and destroy them. Four. Three. Oh boy, what's going on? Oh, Corvette, nice. Two. One. So I'm going to engage again. Good, we're going to take the port. We're going to kill those divisions off. We're going to get St. Petersburg. We're not going to be able to win everywhere, but that's okay. That is definitely A-OK. -okay. Just keep going. Even though the center line is not... We can't crack them just yet. Uh, you actually should be able to win there. Are they doing last hand? Uh, it seems like they are, but they're not. Oh boy, what's happening? Oh, a Russian car. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, suck five more. Go and repair for now. That's fine. Gives me a damaged coastal infrastructure, I guess. Kill every single one of them. If you can, please. Go, 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 go. How many divisions they've left? Up to 72. We have 207. That's centralized army is nice. Very good, very good. Germany under Bismarck, foreign policy, domestic policy. Isolate France? Well, France is dead now. German-Korean treaty. Military assistance. Delegation to Rome. A dual alliance? Three emperors. That's not bad. Rest of the world. Um, An industrial economy or an agrarian state? Well, as much as I want to do that right now, uh, I will probably go with Mauser Rifles. What is this one? Let's go with the new recruitment system. We need a new system to recruit conscripts because we have some national spirit that's not really good for us, which is here's good. Prussian army reserves are very good as well. Yeah, nice. Uh, where was that one that hurt us? Military trouble reorganization or organization stuff. Ah, that's it. Ah, that makes sense. Supply consumption is so bad. I hate it so much right now. We're still doing well in the north, which is really, really good. The center kind of sucks. Even the south is looking pretty good. So overall, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with what we got. And even though, like, if we just stood here the entire time, we would continue to lose equipment, which is obviously something we want to avoid. Uh, so even if we're attacking, we're losing equipment. So if we're gonna lose equipment, we're just we, we might as well just keep attacking. Like we might run out of manpower eventually, but like Russia needs to die. Let's just be real here. All right, so we got some more divisions. I'm gonna stop making so many divisions for now. There you go. Save some, so save some equipment. Save some manpower. They've got a lot of convoys. We should be able to just invade them, right? And hope our admiral's learning quite a bit. German uh, has called as who? Someone in South Africa? I don't think it's these guys. Late air attractors, just in case, dude. These guys maybe. Uh, so we're done here. There's nothing else here we can do for now. Electronics and instruments. Ah, uh, more legislative power. Phonographs. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Convoy? I saw some ships over there. Anything else? Boost army morale. Operation opposition leaders. No? Oh, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. We actually have a naval battle. They have 12 battleships and no screens. Nice. Oh, we're going to lose the ships, maybe. Oh, can we please blow up the ships? Oh, crap. The screens showed up. That's not good. No, we lost a destroyer. We sunk four of them, though. Hey, we took a battleship. Nice. Good job, guys. Sounds like we're getting invaded somewhere. Oh, look at that. So that's worth it. A destroyer versus 10 enemy ships, including a capital ship? Not bad, my friends. Now, do not split off. I want you to just go to repair anyways. Just everyone repair. Everyone repair. Uh, if we need five, just max it out if we need to. 
We want to build up as fast as possible. Horse is not, still nothing good. Wow, we need way more uniforms now. Holy crud. Signal traffic? Traffic signals? Sure, why not? Wow, we got enough textiles to last quite a while. Good, 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 good. More military factories. 40%. My goodness. The graphics. Stop glitching out. Oh my goodness. Stop it. We've lost 300,000, which is not good. We've killed nearly a million Russians. Which is pretty nice. Not gonna lie, that's pretty nice. Oh my god. Stop it. <clears throat> please, just kill Russia off. Can we just do that, please? Like, they, have, they literally have no more equipment. And St. Petersburg is literally a frontline city, so... Keep going, guys. Keep going. I know it sucks. But they have less than... A, well, they have about a million manpower, probably. They'd have some support equipment, but other than that... I mean, we keep literally destroying divisions. They have up to 62. I mean, we have way more than them. Go over here. If you can, encircle these guys. That'd be good. That'd be really, really good. That'd be good. Oh, Russian convoys. Russian convoys. Nice. Oh, God. Hey, St. Petersburg has fallen. How much do we need to take out Russia? Hopefully not too much. Oh, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a whole heck of a lot. Early convoy, early convoy. What has our admiral learned so far? I gotta get out of here. I, I, I don't like the, that laggy stuff. Oh, nothing. But he's level 4, which is not bad. We're out of equipment here. They're out of equipment, so... It's a battle of equipment, really. More convoys. Nice, Gavir. I'm not gonna use that one yet, just because... That increases supply consumption, and I can't, we can't deal with that right now. Come on, coffee. That sucks. Hmm. Yes. Soldier camouflage would be good. I mean, how, how much more do we have to do here? They literally have... We killed four more divisions, maybe. They've already lost a million manpower. I and mean, we've lost quite a few guys, too. And we definitely don't have nearly as much manpower as they do, so... Man, do I try an naval invasion? We could try it. All right, God, stop it! What's ah? All right, so that's seventy up to seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Yeah, we're going to, have to go around here probably to do that. That's not good. Canterbury. Yeah, just go ahead and stop that. Hold and retreat. All right, so that's good to know. So we have to go to Canterbury, Brighton, give us slightly some supply, and then take out Dover that way probably. Focus on your people, probably. So half you guys. I'm so sorry about this graphical stuff, but it's not my fault. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, maybe we'll try Plymouth, maybe? Maybe Plymouth. So two go to Plymouth. One goes from Cherbourg into there. So cut them. No. What, why does that have to go that way? Can't you just like, go here and then do that? You might be able to cut them off that way, maybe. So cut these guys off. No, no, no. Cut them off somehow, please. Yeah, you do that, that'd be pretty bad. Um, why? Just go there and there. That's all I want. Yeah, these guys are probably going to die going over there. Um, I guess we try to go over there, too. Boom, boom. Move over here. Maybe take Bristol, maybe? Maybe? Oh, yeah, I'll go to the World's Fair. Yeah, why not? Can you force the attack? Just go. Can you please just kill them off? The center sucks. The south is really good. The north is ex exceptionally good right now. I'm going to have you guys focus on Finland first, just because it's probably a little bit easier for us. So, yeah, that's definitely not how I wanted the episode to go, I'll be honest. But, hey, it is what it is. Okay, god dang it. Stop it. Stop with the graf graphical glitches. Ah! <laughs> um, and standardized military ranks. We will standardize military ranks all across our nation, which would be a good thing. It's a very good thing. We don't need some more manpower. That is really not good. We're gonna mobilize more though. And here they come again. Corvettes, Corvettes, good, good, good. If you guys go right there, you can kill these guys off really easily. Underwhelming. No stability, that sucks. Whatever, I'm not even going to read that. There you go. Now these guys should die easily. 
Last enemies to soak up supply. Thank you. They have up to how many divisions in Russia? 56. Not bad. They wanted, a war. they wanted war. I did not want war. I defused the crisis, so... Let it be known that they wanted war. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing a great job. I should have sent my horses this way, but whatever. How close are they to capitulating? Not close at all. Oh, God, it's going to suck. All right, so maybe we've got to rethink of this a little bit more. we got more than enough howitzers, so we got to share the wealth a little bit more between uniforms and this group. So go down to five, maybe, for now. That would be better. That's better. Definitely better. Wow. Yeah, the Martini Rifle. Yeah, we're okay for now. Keep building up those factories. Just build up everything we can. Oh, wait, why can't we do that? Oh, we don't have enough naval superiority, huh? It's alright. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, I'll send you guys over here, then. And these guys have, have what left? 49 divisions max. They have some equipment. They have some cannons. And not bad for them. I'd really like to see what their exact combat width is. But overall, not too bad. I'm moving in really well. They might have a million manpower left. We only have 300,000 left. So we'll see what happens, I guess. You know, it's not that bad. We're doing pretty well for what, for, you know, for this campaign so far. And this mod. I'll uh, help them out. They're struggling, so. Oh, they're going to be dying here, hopefully. Just kill them off. Literally just kill them off. Nice. Anywhere else we can do the same thing? Yes, yes, yes. Fighting on the eastern front must always just suck so hard. Anyone have upgrades, actually? Anyone with the ability for less supply consumption, please? That'd be really nice. An organizer. A lot of cavalry generals, which is nice. Are you an organizer? No. Are you an organizer? No. Well, Mukti is, so that's where we have that guy, so that's pretty good. Oh boy. Nice. Why did Mexico join the war? Like, seriously. Kill him off, please. Kill him off. Yeah, I don't know if Russia can really come back after this. I mean, we took St. Petersburg. Moscow must be... We must be getting close to Moscow, right? Yeah, we're getting closer and closer to Moscow. And they, it doesn't seem like they can really stop us. So, yeah. Base? That's not bad. Anything here? No. It's mine sweeping. Mine damage. Might as well make, our ships, make sure that our ships can do very, very well. Army support? Uh, I think we could get out of that. There's nothing that gives us less supply consumption, though, which I don't like. Anything over here? Oh, Gatling gun defense in itself. It's actually, why not? Since everyone uses these, these types of guns, so. Help them out. Help them out. I'm once again asking for your uh, violent assistance. I mean, yeah, we lost half a million men, but... We might need to mobilize a little bit more. They have the 46 divisions. I mean, part of the reason that we're losing so much men is that we just have to garrison stuff, which really just sucks. Yeah, we're just missing equipment for that and uniforms, which is really not good. Uh, these are the guys I want to use, but how much support equipment do we have? Do we have military police? We do not have military police, which sucks. Oh, man, this sucks. It sucks a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. 530, you guys use way less equipment, so. Suppression is 5. Your suppression is 4, but you require way less. Let's focus a little bit more on our military industry, then. Uh, 30%. Ooh, standardized military ranks are not bad. Do that, do that, maybe. Way more military factories for now. Alright, military textbooks, land doctrine, land doctrine. I don't think there's a supply. Yeah, there's nothing here for supply consumption, which really, really sucks. Legislative power is not bad in the Garian state. Uh, Garian culture, globalization, shock. The higher export law, the more legislative power you'll gain from this focus. Consumer goods, potatoes and sugar, um, artificial fertilizers, enc encourage making babies, which is not bad. 
or industrial economy, which is not bad for us either. Deutsche Bank, research speed, social egalitarianism, eight hour workday, industrial empire. I prefer probably the industrial economy overall. I usually prefer that one. Germany under Bismarck, foreign policy, colonial society, so. Uh, Miles of rifles. I was going to get the land auction stuff, more PP, so. Military textbooks, we need new military textbooks. Why not? God, this war has been raging on for so for quite a while, but that's okay. Get the horses down here. Let's go down there. Barbed wire fencing is nice. We get more population because of that somehow. Okay. So we're done with this one. How about electronics and instruments? Ooh, yes, the reinforce rate, not bad. Sure, why not? There we go, there we go. That's nice. Okay, we're definitely up to raise a conscription level or something. Um what level are we at? 10% of the, for that. Where's our conscription level? Military, internal budget laws, early mobilization, venture, private adventures only, limited elections, government structure, executive uh, placeholder, standard taxes, limited exports, restricted 10-hour workday, land purchase, demographics, limited equality, order control, male suffrage, oh, limited conscription. Yeah, we need to go higher. We, we have to go higher. We need extensive conscription. Yeah. So, oh god, we're not gonna be able to get this. Why? Why? I mean, that literally makes no sense. We're currently at war. Uh, make a speech in parliament. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to pass this. That's stupid. Guys, we're literally at war. We are. I mean, it says we were the aggressors. In my mind, we weren't. We tried to defuse the crisis, but they said no. So that's stupid. That's really stupid. And we're going to win regardless if we don't conscript any more, but still. If we need to, I can go ahead and just, like, delete some divisions. Oh, my goodness. Please, Russia, can you just collapse? Seriously. You have 44 divisions left. The only thing that's beating us right now is literally not Russia, but supply. That's literally it. 34, come on, man. Meet traditional... Uh, we could try to meet traditional conservative supporters, because they don't care for us at all. Maybe try to get, grab military police next. That'd probably be pretty good to do. Help them out here. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Let's, wait, do we even have military police? Yeah, we do. That's good. That's good. I mean, this is literally pretty much just World War One already, so... Alright, not bad. I mean, they literally want to die here. Holy crap, 8%? Not much, huh? There, hmm. I forgot about this. There, yeah, no, this is just a waste of time. We need more men, but we don't have any more men. Can we... We have puppet states. Can we grab some more... Oh my goodness, 73%. Jesus. What are you guys doing down here? You have no men. I want garrison support. Gabon? 5,000 manpower. I mean, we could definitely use that. Uh, we had another puppet, didn't we? Senegal. Of course, they all say no. God. What's the point of them, them then? Can I release the nations? Can I release France? Because I need more manpower. Oh, wait. Can I release these guys? Oh. I guess technically we could release these guys. Moldavia. We haven't won the war yet, though, so... Return territory. Nice and Savoy. I mean, that would, that would make them really like us. Uh, I don't mind releasing these guys then. Mm, I can't afford to keep them, so... Release. Oh, there, look. Okay, we got the manpower for that. That's not bad. Um, honestly, though, like, I... This is so dumb. Tears? Well, at least we have him as a puppet. And he has some manpower himself, so... We lost some factories, but you know what? We needed that manpower, so... Voting results? That's so stupid. Well, at least we have France completely under us. German hegemony is going to keep expanding further, though, so... Not bad. Not bad. And even though we lost factories, at least the French are our puppets, which is a good, good thing. 
Guys, if you just want to do well, just encircle them. And cut off Moscow. If you just cut off Moscow, it'd be great, but unfortunately, we've pretty much already taken them out, so. They have up to 30 divisions max. Come on, guys, let's keep going. Oh, did I... oh no, you guys, no, you guys, no, you guys. Please head on over, please. Oh, yeah, see, there we go, nice. I love the French now. Oh, there goes the Bulgarians. Tsaritsyn would be nice to have. Just go and take it, please. Thank you. Hopefully that'll be enough to capitulate Russia. 70% of the way there. I'd like to end the episode with a capitulation of Russia, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is a bit nuts. To say the least. Um, I might just try to force a white piece between us and these guys, just because I don't want to fight the UK. I really don't. They they really did go to war with us. Oh, let's be realistic here. Peace is a garbage. I need to get that they're trying to get the... Wow. Poor Bulgaria. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. That sucks. But, like, seriously, we wanted peace. I didn't want to take out the French. Actually, I really did, but whatever. Don't tell them that. Yeah, you can definitely see the game starting to break with these guys just being eaten up, so... Hmm. Uh, does anyone do some early Lebensraum? Because we, we've got we got the space for it. <laughs> we definitely have the space for it. Did we take starts in yet? Oh, we did. Wow. Military textbooks are nice. How about we get some military academies? Building a few new military academies will aid us in developing our tactics. Sounds good to me. Bonus line action. We should probably research that some more. Uh, if you don't just cut him, cut him off, that'd be nice. Gimri is the capital, huh? I can't even see the horses here. Just go straight across, cut him off, go to Ostrakhan. Um, yeah, this is... It's definitely been a war. Why can't we do anything here? We have more than enough naval superiority. We've got enough... Of this stuff anyway, so. Um, nothing really here we can choose yet. Can we choose this one yet? Yes, we can. Nice. Climate training. Good. Happy 1876. This is definitely not how I wanted the war to go for us, so. Can we please just keep killing them? That'd be nice. Yes, we Oh, I ask and we shall receive, shall we? more convoys, not bad. Oh. Oh, look at that. Some more convoys, not bad. God dang, the graphic glitches. Holy crud. And we're running out of manpower again. Okay, guys. I hope you like Asia. Oh, Russia still hasn't taken Vladivostok? Or... Yeah, see? Yeah. Hai Shin Wai. The Jing Empire is looking pretty big and mighty. Good job, guys. Uh, these guys still have not unified yet, but whatever. Keep going, keep going. We cut off the capital from everything else, so that's actually really good for us. Uh, Sochi? You can maybe have some Olympic Games down there if you really wanted to. And we're out of manpower again. So, I guess... Finland? It's not much, but... There you go. You can have your independence, Finland. Well oiled economy. Oh, it finally went away. That sucks. Where's Finland? Is this Finland? That's a Russian. Uh, where did Finland go? Finland, where'd you go? Okay. Oh, uh, I thought I released him. Nope. Um, Savoy Nice. I don't want to deal with that. There you go. Um, Lithuania. I want the United Baltic Duchy. That's what I want. Togo B Tribe. No, that's good. Please just hurry up, guys. Please, 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 please. I mean, the Russians are broken at this point. They have 14 divisions. We've cut off almost 2 million of them. We're about to take the capital. I mean, get to Baku, I guess. I heard they have a lot of oil down there, which probably is probably pretty good for the future. So, yeah. This is ridiculous. I, mean, I said I would cut, kill a division, an ar entire army off if I have to. Uh, there you go. 63,000 more manpower. I'm going to get more manpower back later, hopefully, but... It's a bit ridiculous, not going to lie. There you go. 
But how is Tiflis the capital now? I guess, yeah, Siberia hasn't really been developed yet, so... But still, like... This is a little crazy, not gonna lie. We're already out of 63,000 manpower, holy crud. 93% of the way there. Ninety-three percent of the way there. My goodness, I still can't invade. Like this is so dumb. Please let us invade. If I have to, I'll cut you down in half. Maybe. There you go. Maybe. Engage more, 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 more. I got a little bit more vampire, but it's probably because of the new month. going guys keep going they're literally legally not allowed to stop but there's they're, they're still going 95% of the way there oh you take that'd be great uh supplies really sucks really really sucks around here military academies are nice though and the right men over we will make some maneuvers in an empire. Okay, well, sounds kind of nice. Would you like to take Tiflis? That might just be enough that we need for the capitulation of Russia. 96% of the way there. We've lost a few divisions ourselves. Actually, I, no, I just deleted them. That's why it's up. <laughs> some more of this stuff. Nice. Please, can we just kill off the enemy ships, please? He's becoming a superior tactician, which is kind of nice. And a fleet protector, so that's pretty good. Any other victory points here? Here. You guys are doing an okay job. Go over here. That'd be nice. Oh, I got our ongles. That's not good. That's good. Oh, and Russia's about to capitulate. 99, 99% of the way there. Yeah, who needs a colonial empire when you just take out the Russians and the French? Quite literally. What are they up to? Look at that. Nice. 100,000 men. Okay, I hope we got him. Oh, uh, we can always hopefully liberate them later. I'm just going to go. Oh, yes. I like that one. I like that one option a lot. Uh, but we might not get that option later on, so I'll just take all states first, maybe. But I'm going to end it here because I'm not sure what we're going to really do with all this stuff. But if you enjoyed the episode, hey, leave a like. Oh, crap. Did you annex it? Oh, come on, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever seen this before in your campaigns? Because this is very uh, weird. I've never seen this happen before, but uh, and you can tell the game's lagging very, very harshly. And I'm probably going to have to release the Russians because we don't have enough manpower to garrison literally every single one of the provinces. And let me know in the comments whether I should or should not just like force a white peace between us and the UK because I really don't want to fight them. But we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.